Welcome to Module 4 of the GPS course. Um, module 4, we're going to cover power, the receiver front-end design, and signal acquisition. And in this very first part of Module 4, we'll just cover transmitter power, path loss through space, and a dB or decibel review. So let's begin with the power transmitted by the satellite. Each GPS satellite transmits a signal with a power of 27 watts. That's about the same as a small light bulb like this. So imagine that far out in space transmitting mere 27 watts. And that power then spreads out in a sphere. And the amount of power density at the surface of the sphere decreases as the radius of the sphere increases. And at, at, for any particular radius, the power density on the surface of the sphere is the transmitted power, which we're denoting PT, divided by the area of the sphere, 4 pi r squared, as we've shown in the diagram there. So as that radius gets very large, the power gets very small, and it becomes inconvenient to talk about watts, because we'll get watts times a very small number, like times 10 to the minus 16. And then it becomes much more convenient to talk in terms of decibels. So what is a decibel? Well, you probably remember that decibel is something like 10 times log of a power. But or maybe you remember it's 20 times log of a power. So if you've ever wondered, is it 10 or 20, then you just have to go back to the basics. And I'll show you how to think about decibels in a way that you'll never get confused again about whether it's 10 or 20. So let's, let's take a step away from GPS and go back to the definition of decibels. So it begins with the term bell. And the only thing you need to remember is that this was defined in honor of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. And what is a bell? It is a ratio of powers. And in, in particular, it's a log ratio of powers. You take log 10 of the ratio of two powers, and that's the power ratio in bells. So what's a decibel? Well, think of a decimeter. If you've got a distance of one meter, how many decimeters is that? 10, just 10 times as many decimeters as meters. Same for decibels. Decibels is just 10 times as many of those as they are bells. So power ratio in decibels is 10 times the power ratio in bells, which is 10 log 10 of a ratio of powers. Simple as that. So you ne should never get confused again about this. So now let's go over some details. So first of all, the definition. A decibel, 10 log 10 of ratio of powers. And often we have a power that me we're measuring, and we'll take the ratio of that to some reference power. For example, if the reference power is 1 watt, then we talk about dB watts or dBW. And power in dB watts is just 10 log 10 of power in watts. Suppose the reference power is a milliwatt, then we talk about dBMs or dB milliwatts, and it's just 10 log 10, the power in milliwatts. So now we can go back to our original slide and say, well, if the signal was transmitted with a power of 27 watts, what would that be in decibels? So in dB watts, it's just 10 log 10 of 27, which gives us the 14.3. So now let's take a short quiz just to make sure that you've got this and get some basic dB values in your head. So we've just seen that 27 watts has a dBW value of 14.3. So first question in the quiz, what is 27 watts in dBm? Second question is, what is a power ratio of 2 in dB? And the third question, what's a power ratio of a half in dB? So you can do this quiz yourself, and we'll come back and do the answers. Let's go through the answers of, this, of the quiz. So what is 27 watts in dBm? Well, I'll, I'll take you through step by step. dBm, or dB milliwatts, is 10 log 10, the power ratio to a milliwatt. So they're 27 times 10 to the 3 milliwatts, or 27 watts. So it's 10 log 10 of 27 times 10 to the 3. And the convenient thing about logs, we can split that up and say, well, that's 10 log 10 of 27 plus 10 log 10 of 10 to the 3. And 10 log 10 of 27 is just what we started with. Uh, and 10 log 10 of 10 to the 3 is just log 10 of 10 to the 3 is 3 times 10 is 30. So we get 
the 14.3 plus 30. So when you, what you can see there is going from dB watts to dBm, you just add 30, and you can see why there. So the next question was, what is the power ratio of 2 in dB? Well, if you, if you just put 10 log 10 of 2 and work that out, you get an answer almost exactly 3. And what about a half? Well, 10 log 10 of a half is the same as 10 log 10 of 2 to the minus 1, which is minus 10 log 10 of 2, therefore minus 3. And so the reason we did that in the quiz is that these are very useful numbers to know. You add 30 to go from dBms, from dB watts to dBms, Two, a power ratio of 2 is 3 dB, a power ratio of a half is minus 3 dB. These, kind of, these things come up again and again. So now we're ready to do our dB review. There's a definition that we've been over twice already, and power in dB watts, 10 log 10 of power in watts, power in dBm, 10 log 10 of power in milliwatts, plus or minus 3 dB is 2x or a half x. If you have a magnitude ratio and you want to take decibels, how do you do that? Well, the simple answer is you can't do that. Decibels are defined as a power ratio. So often we will have magnitude ratios in GPS. We'll have something like a voltage ratio. It won't always look like a voltage. It'll be something like the output of a correlator. But technically speaking, that's a voltage. And we'll look at the ratio of that to the standard deviation of the noise, which is also a voltage. So we have a magnitude or voltage ratio, and how do we express that in decibels. Well, we've just seen that decibels is a power ratio. So we have to turn our magnitude ratio into a power ratio. And we do that by squaring the magnitudes or squaring the voltages, because a squared voltage is proportional to power. So if we look at this algebraically, we see that if we have a voltage ratio V over V0 and we want to take decibels, then we must raise that to the power the power of 2, square the voltage ratio, then we have a power ratio, and then we can take decibels the way we've just learnt. 10 log 10 of the power ratio, and then if you feel like it, you can bring that 2 down the front, and that's where you get this 20 log 10. But you should never again get confused about this. Decibels is always 10 log 10 of a power ratio, and the 20 only comes about for just, if you feel like, bringing that squared value down to the front.